I have both the Coleman four person instant tent and the four person pop up tent, and in this video, I'll show you all the differences between these two tents. Setting up a four person Coleman pop up tent takes just one and a half minutes, while a four person Coleman instant tent takes four and a half minutes or about three times as long. Why exactly does the instant tent take so much longer than the pop up tent? Two main reasons. First, the poles. For the Coleman pop-up tent, the moment you slide the tent out of the carry bag and remove the black strap across the tent, all the tension in the poles will cause the tent to just pop open. On the other hand, for the Coleman instant tent, the poles don't have the same popping mechanism. Instead, you gotta pull on the elbow joints to prop the poles up, and then extend all the telescoping wall poles upward before your tent looks somewhat set up. Second, the rainfly. The pop-up tent has a pre-attached rainfly, so you don't have to attach it yourself. In contrast, the Coleman Instant Tent doesn't come with the rainfly pre-attached, so you've got to drape the rainfly over the tent, find the correct rainfly position, clip the four extended tips of the rainfly just below this Instant Tent sticker here, tighten the strap, and then secure the Velcro underneath the rainfly to the pole. One tip I have for you here is that you can leave the rainfly on when you're packing up. So the next time you set up this instant tent, it'll take only three minutes to set up the tent instead of four and a half minutes, saving you about one and a half minutes. And one more difference between both these tents is that the Coleman instant tent doesn't come with the rainfly. Instead, you have to buy the rainfly separately, and it comes like this with eight extra stakes. Taking down and packing up the four-person pop-up tent takes just two minutes, while the four-person instant tent takes five minutes, which is more than double the time. That's because for the pop-up tent, all I had to do was just fold it until it looks like a taco, and then fold the taco, and then push all the poles together. It then folds back into this perfect circle, which fits perfectly into the carry bag without any fumbling at all. On the other hand, for the Coleman Instant Tent, I first had to remove the rainfly, fold the rainfly, press on the silver lock button on all the telescoping poles, push down on all the poles, push the elbow joints in, fold the tent up and squeeze all the air out before it would fit back into the carry bag. If I left the rainfly on though, packing it up will take just three and a half minutes. The peak height of the four person instant tent is 61 inches. This is slightly shorter than my height, so my head presses against the roof when I try to stand upright. But it's tall enough that I can fit in thick air mattresses without worrying about the mattress eating into my livable space. On the other hand, the peak height of the four person pop up tent is much lower at just 39 inches, and I would recommend no more than 6 inches in height if you're planning to use an air mattress in this tent. When I sat down on a 6 inch thick mattress, my head touches the mesh at the top of the tent when I sit upright. Not only does my instant tent have a much higher peak height than my pop-up tent, it also has these almost vertical sidewalls, which gives it a nice cabin shape for plenty of livable space inside the tent so I can freely stretch my arms out. The base area of both these four person tents is about the same, coming in at around 55 square feet each. But the problem with the four person pop up tent is that the base area isn't rectangular, it's oval in shape. So the maximum number of single sleeping pads I could fit into the tent was only three with some leftover space. In contrast, the four person instant tent can fit four sleeping pads with no leftover space. I could also fit one queen bed into each of these tents with quite a bit of space left over. The Coleman four person instant tent has four windows in total, one big window here, two small windows together, another big window here, and no windows on this last wall. On the other hand, the four person pop up tent has only one window that's part of the door, plus some ceiling mesh at the top of the tent, so overall less ventilation on a hot day. While well, I could zip open and shut all of the instant tent's windows from the inside of the tent, I couldn't do the same with the pop-up tent. To get ventilation from the ceiling mesh, I had to unhook the rainfly and take it off from the outside. And also, to open the window, you first have to unzip the window, unzip the door, tie up the door fabric, and zip the window up, which is kind of annoying. For storage, the four-person instant tent has two pockets inside the tent, while the four-person pop-up tent has only one pocket, which is split into two. And while the instant tent has one lantern loop inside the tent, the pop-up tent doesn't have any lantern loops. And I had to use the door latch attachment to hang a lantern up. Up. 
when I tested my Coleman Instant Tent through some heavy rain using this water hose, it stayed dry for about 10 minutes before the first drop of water got into the tent. And after 15 minutes, I found quite a bit of leaking from the seam connecting the bathtub flooring to the black tent fabric, which was not seam taped and instead inverted and from the pocket as well. This black fabric here was damp as well and even the rain fly was slightly damp too. This is definitely not as good as some of my other Coleman tents, and that's because the instant tent has a really small rain fly that covers only the very top of the tent and extends at most 10 inches down. And if you thought the rain fly couldn't get any smaller, guess what? My Coleman pop-up tent has an even smaller rain fly that covers only the ceiling mesh. When I rain tested my two-person pop-up tent the same way, the entire tent was even more soaked. Not only did the door leak tons of water into the tent, the taped seam between the flooring and the tent body was also leaking. All the fabric in the tent had been soaked through and even the underside of the rain fly was wet and it was dripping water from the ceiling mesh down into the tent. Both these tents don't have any ventilation on rainy days as all the windows will be completely soaked. Another difference is that the instant tent has a tub floor extending up to about 4 inches, which is useful if there's light flooding while the Coleman pop-up tent doesn't have a tub floor. The materials used in the Coleman pop-up tent is mainly polyester including the flooring, and I think it's 68D polyester all around and the tent poles are made of fiberglass. In contrast, the Coleman instant tent is made of 150D polyester taffeta, which is what Coleman calls double thick fabric, the flooring is polyethylene, and the poles are made of alloy steel, which is significantly thicker, so overall higher quality materials. Because of the difference in materials, the 4 person instant tent is much heavier, coming in at about 20 pounds if you include the rain fly and all the sticks. The 4 person pop up tent is much lighter, weighing 8.2 pounds. Both tents are actually equally bulky, but the 4 person instant tent comes in this long packed size, so it's easier to store while the 4 person pop up tent comes in this huge circle shape, making it a little more difficult to store. I paid less than 100 bucks for the 4 person pop up tent, while I paid more than 100 bucks for the 4 person instant tent, which was about 20 to 30% more expensive, and that's without the rainfly. I also bought the rainfly separately for another 30 bucks. If you're here looking for a tent that sets up easily, the Coleman pop up tent is by far the easiest Coleman tent to set up and pack away. But just bear in mind that it does take some practice to get used to the pack up. My first time packing up the Coleman pop-up tent, it took me more than 5 tries to get it right. The pop-up tent also has a much lower peak height, fewer storage options, less ventilation, thin fiberglass poles, and does worse in the heavy rain. It is much less expensive though, so I'd recommend the Coleman pop-up tent only if you're on a budget and if you're backyard camping or camping only in fair weather. While the Coleman Instant Tent has some of the same flaws like not so good rain protection, it could still be salvaged if you're willing to add seam sealant and use some waterproofing spray. But unlike the pop-up tents, the Instant Tents have a decent peak height and base area, and I also like the cabin shape, the better ventilation, the much thicker steel poles, and the double thick tent fabric. Actually, one more difference is that the pop-up tents only come in a 2-person and 4-person size while the instant tent goes all the way up to a 10-person size. In fact, I'd recommend the 10-person instant tent for hot summer days instead because it seriously has tons of hot day ventilation with windows on every single wall, ceiling mesh, plus blackout fabric to keep you cool in the summer heat. I could also stand up everywhere inside the tent and I didn't even have to pay for a separate rainfly because the rainfly was included with the purchase. To find out how the pop-up and instant tents compare against more than 10 other common tents, I highly recommend that you watch this video here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.